Hi, I'm Leonie West from Westerly Design and I'm just going to show you our circles on quilts templates and how to use them. We have set one which is 2 to 12 inches and one template will give you 1 inch spaced circles. Two templates will give you half inch spaced circles. Then we also have set two. Set two is two and a half inches to eleven and a half inches and when you combine them with set one you will be able to create quarter inch spaced concentric circles. We also have, because we found a need for template circles that go over that size, we have a set of four templates and these take you from 12 inches to 18 inches giving you the quarter inch spacing. So I'm going to show you how to sew a circle using our Circles on Quilts templates. I've marked this block with reference lines because after I sew a few circles I'm going to do something else with it and I've placed our locating pin from under the quilt through the centre. I've already lowered my foot and put the needle into the fabric brought the threads up so I'm ready to start. I'm going to use the two inch circle to start with. We place that over the pin, move our template so that our foot is sitting in the hole in the circle and we're going to stitch around this template. Now because we need space for our foot to move otherwise our foot would grip the template it is a little larger than a half inch and so therefore you need to decide whether you're going to sew on the inside or the outside of the template. So we're going to sew to the outside and we're just going to move our fabric and template together. When we've gone as far as we can with our foot remaining in the template, we then turn the template and we work around to complete our circle by sewing to the end of the template, turning the template and sewing around. When we finish, our last stitch should touch the first stitch. If you are sewing concentric circles, you can sew with a continuous thread where where I begin I would stitch along the line that I've got marked and I would create a line that goes up between the circles. When I do that it looks funny if I have one line going up between my circles so I would then need to stitch four matching lines so I'd have the top one, the right, the bottom and the left. And if I stitch out on those lines, then I can have a line running between my circles and that's fine. Otherwise, I stop here, bring my threads up and I will sew the ends in. So I'll just do that and I'll come back and sew another circle for you. I've sewn the threads in for the circle and now I'm going to move to the other template. So I'm going to do three. That gives us a three inch diameter circle and it's the next size up from the one we first sewed which means I'm going to have a half inch spacing between my circles. Again we stitch as far as we can, turn the template, we're working on the same locating pin and you will do this until you have as many circles as you require. You may choose to be doing as I said quarter inch space circles, half inch space circles, one inch space circles. But to quilt circles is very easy using this template. In the past we've quilted circles by drawing a circle onto a quilt and then free motion quilting around that drawn line and it is very difficult to get beautiful concentric circles. And there are so many patterns and ways we can use these circles. So we're almost back at the beginning and when we get back to the beginning our last stitch is where our first stitch was. Again we'll bring those threads up. We've sewn a 2 inch, a 3 inch, 5 inch and now we're going to sew a 7 inch. So I've, again my needle is down, my foot is in the correct position, threads are up 
and we're just going to go around the template again. Great thing about these templates is I can choose the spacing I want. I can choose my central position and I can s have circles that are off-centered and go over the top of each other. I can use the circles to go around a wreath and fill in a background. I can use the circles to go around an applique. Um, being able to sew circles using this template really is easy and there is so much you can do with a circle. We're just turning the template round, we're not moving the fabric. So if I was doing a large quilt and wanted to do concentric circles on that quilt, I do not have to turn that whole quilt under my machine to create circles. We're only ever turning the template. And remember, we can only quilt what fits in our hand space. The maximum you would be looking at quilting when quilting is a 12 inch block. Fill that 12 inch block, move on to the next 12 inch block. We don't have to move a whole big quilt and quilt from one side of the quilt to the other. We fill in the spaces, fill in the areas. So we're almost back to the start again. And when I get back to the get beginning, I'll stop and I'll sew those ends in again. So that's our Circles on Quilts template. <laughs>